Beloved Masters, during these most critical times of your planet, we offer you a challenge and an opportunity. Will you join us in spreading a thought form of love so powerful that will overlight the earth and all humanity? You have been flexing your spiritual muscles for quite a long time. Now we are asking you to move into the next level of awareness and empowerment. The awareness that you can make a difference in the world and that you can play an important part in scripting the outcome of the future of humanity. An awareness that when you join together with others of like mind with loving intent, you can change the course of history. You have all the forces of heaven just waiting for the opportunity to join you, and together we create an unbeatable combination. Love is an awesome source of power for it carries a divine essence of creation, and it ignites a divine alchemical action within those who are infused with this essence, whereby the transmutation into a more refined or pure level of frequency pattern is more easily accomplished. It is not a time to stand alone. It's not a time to focus on your own narrow world and your personal problems, excluding the larger picture and your eternal soul families. In the past 50 years, your consciousness has expanded beyond the narrow viewpoint on your personal family and environment to incorporate an awareness of worldview which encompasses all nations and all people of the earth. If you have not accepted the viewpoint truth that what affects you affects everyone else on earth, you should, for it is true. And you are affected, for better or worse, by every occurrence that takes place anywhere in the world. Just as the element of air, wind, lifts the sand dust from the great deserts high into the jet stream and carries it around the world, so it is with the vibrational frequency patterns from the thought form, actions, and intent of every human. Whether positive or negative, they add to or detract from the stream of mass consciousness. We explained to you that there are two bands of energy encircling the earth. One is a dense, dark, negative band of compacted thought forms which was created over the ages through the collective conscious of humanity. You, the faithful servants of the light, have created another band of sparkling light, composed of your thought of unconditional love, joy, peace, wisdom, and non-judgment, which has and is making a difference. The cataclysmic event of 9-11 and all the violence and massive explosions that have taken place over the last two years have had a rippling effect around the world and have torn the band of darkness asunder, shattering it into millions of minuscule thought forms. These powerful negative energy patterns penetrated deeply into the heart of every human on earth and dislodged or brought to the surface all the fear, hatred, and distorted energy that has been there for thousands of years. Have you not wondered why, at this particular time, there is so much hatred and such fanaticism and why there are hundreds of thousands of misdirected souls who are willing to die for what they believe to be a holy cause. Allow us to give you an overview of what is taking place on earth from our vantage point. You will then see that what is happening does fit into the larger picture and is an inevitable part of the transformation process now in progress. No, we did not instigate these tragic occurrences, but as we have told you, we will use any means at hand to help you to move past the limitations of the lower dimensions and into the realm of light beauty and wondrous things beyond imagining. For the past hundred years, humanity has been in the process of releasing, resolving, and transmuting the emotional trauma, energies, and imbalances that resulted from the cataclysmic destruction sinking of the continent of Lemuria and most of the Lemurian race. Our mother god, or the goddess virtue and attributes, have been the overlighting influence of this era focused on unconditional love, service, nurturing, and instilling all the feminine aspects of the creator rays within the physical vessel. Therefore, the balancing, harmonizing, or transmutation process has been focused on the three lower physical chakras with the overlighting influence of the energies of the goddess or the virtues, aspects, attributes of unconditional love, including love of self, self-worth issues including service to others balanced with honoring and serving self, Taming the ego body desire by allowing your soul self to become the director of your life's experience instead of the ego desire body. In other words, filling the three lower energy mind centers with the wondrous transforming love of our Divine Mother as we seek to return to the pure essence of unconditional love, thereby balancing the energy centers within your physical body so they spin truly and in harmony with one another. To refresh your memory, the three lower physical chakra energy centers the root or base chakra, survival, the physical body, scarcity, abundance, security, bonding with the earth or grounding oneself in the physical expression. 
The navel, lower abdomen, or sacral center. Sexual, passionate love, ego desire, pleasure, surrender, tolerance. The solar plexus chakra, personal power center. Mastery of ego desire body, self-control, emotional body center. The heart chakra, which is the bridge between the three lower and the three higher chakras. The physical and spiritual worlds of reality. Life force energy center, dwelling place of the essence of self, center of divine love. The three higher spiritual chakra energy centers are the throat chakra, power of the spoken word, creative expression through speech, sound, vibration, the brow, third eye chakra, intuition, insight, clairvoyance, accessing the higher brain centers and multidimensional perception. Seven, the crown chakra, spiritual will, inspiration, accessing wisdom from the cosmic mind, reestablishing unity consciousness. Even though you have not completed the task, many of you are well on your way to bringing your emotional nature into balance so that you may express unconditional love toward all. It is an ongoing process, but remember, all you have to do is to clear 51% of the imbalances within, and you then move into a state of grace whereby the process is greatly accelerated. Since the earth-shaking event called 9-11, there have been a dramatic change within the human psyche, as well as in the conscious of the earth. In order for humanity and the earth to return to balance and harmony within, all the negative energies from past physical incarnations had to be acknowledged, addressed, and transmuted. Not each deed, but the accumulated energy patterns within your f four lower bodily systems, physical, mental, emotional, and etheric. The difference is this. The energies that you are confronting now are of the Atlantean era and of a mental nature of having to do with the mental body. The fourth golden age of Atlantis was overlighted by the virtues, attributes, and qualities of the Father Creator, the dynamic masculine, outward thrusting force, the will to create using the mind to control and mold the energies of the first ray of divine will. It was a time of totally integrating the mental faculties and the physical senses into your newly formed earthly vessels. The process you are now in the midst of is healing, balancing, harmonizing, and infusing the three lower physical chakras with the overlighting energy of our Father, God, or masculine virtues and attributes using the mind or mental body. We will not deny that this is the most difficult task or test of all, but many of you have passed through what you might call the initiation of the mind, for lack of a better term. However, it is an awesome task and fearful undertaking for those who still stuck in the illusion of the lower dimensions where fear, hate, anger, and violence and self-destructive tendencies are the norm. This is what is taking place in the world at this moment, and that is why we say this is the greatest challenge you'll ever face, both personally and collectively. We have spoken much about the Lemurian Age and over the years have only touched briefly on the Atlantean Age. Now it is time to give you some historical facts to help you understand what is taking place at this time. As most of you are aware, the Atlantean priests and priestesses used great crystals of various size, colors, and resonance to create wondrous things of material form. Their power source came from the great crystals. Their healing modalities were based on the harmonizing frequencies of the crystals. They drew forth the wisdom and primal life force substance of creation via the crystals using light, sound, toning, and with loving pure intent. They held a perfect vision in their minds as to what they wished to create in the physical expression and their visions magically took solid form. All were directly connected to the higher self. I am presence in the life-giving frequencies of our Father, Mother God. In the beginning they knew only perfection, and that is what they created. There was also great sentient crystal obelisks that penetrated deep within the earth and angled out in all directions beneath the great continent of Atlantis. There was a wondrous temple of the eternal violet flame where you went with each earthly incarnation was completed. You stepped into the blazing violet flame of transmutation and were instantly transported to the appropriate realm in the higher dimensions. That is the way it was intended to be, not the often lingering, painful, fear-infused death process that most of humanity now faces. Most of the giant crystals of the Atlantean era have lain semi-dormant, and the eternal violet flame was not extinguished when the temple sank beneath the waters but was greatly diminished. It is not a myth. There are great structures, temples, and pyramids resting on the ocean floor in the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean, with the majority in the area of the Bahamas, Cuba, and off the coast of Florida. All of the islands of the West Indies are remnants of Atlantis. Many of these islands sank during the final deluge over 12,000 years ago, and then rose to the surface again over time. 
There is where the memories of the age are stored, both positive and negative, waiting to be transmuted and brought into balance. As part of this process, the mighty violet flame of transformation is burning brightly at maximum strength once more within a protective sphere at Crater Light, and the great crystal sentinels have been activated again. One of the most powerful spires is in the area of what is known as Bimini, which has often been spoken of in the connection with Atlantis. From there, the obelisks fan out, pointing toward the southern tip of Florida in the United States, toward Bermuda, Cuba, South America, and the Yucatan Peninsula, which was once a major Atlantean colony. The energies radiate out into the great ocean and are carried around the world via the elements of water, just as they were carried via the elements of air. In these critical times, we ask you to join with us in bringing forth to the earth a thought form of crater light so powerful that it will surround the planet and will be made available for any who are willing to partake of this blessed gift. Any and all may participate, but the amount of this verified love light that you will be able to access and contain will depend on the degree to which you have balanced and harmonized the energy center within. In unison with our Father, Mother, God, we, the angelic realm, and all great beings of this universe, created a wondrous pyramid of light within the great central sun. We gathered within the great edifice and through our combined degrees of love brought forth the greatest infusion of creator primal life force substance that could be utilized by the humanity of earth. It was then sent forth down through the multi-dimensions to the highest plane of the fifth dimension and there it awaits you. We invite you to join us in this rarefied environment and partake of this divine gift at whatever level you are prepared for. Relax into a meditative state. Using the Alpha Master Technique or the Infinity Breath is a very effective tool to help you attain the appropriate level of harmony. Through your intent, see yourself being lifted into the special pyramid and go to the special chair that is awaiting you there. State in your own words that you are willing to be a divine emissary of light and ask that you be filled with appropriate amount of the precious elixir of light, light force, energy that is available to you. Focus your heart center as you breathe deeply. Observe as a small, brilliant, diamond-shaped light slowly forms in the air of your heart. This is your diamond core cell of pure crater light. As you continue to breathe deeply, watch as another diamond shape, just a little larger, forms around the core cell, and then another, and then another, until a total of 12 diamond shapes, each a little larger, take shape within your body. The lower point rests on your root chakra. The two outer points are located at the heart center and extend the width of your body, and the upper point anchors at the crown chakra. As you continue to breathe, watch closely as the diamond shape becomes three-dimensional. The diamond core cell stays deep within your heart center, but as if someone pulls the center from both the front and the back, thereby making the diamond shape project out from the front and the back of your heart center. Now sit quietly as you are filled with the essence of the Creator. When you feel a completion, slowly bring yourself back to the reality of Earth, knowing that you are forever changed. All you have to do is to stay centered in your heart and allow this divine transfusion of light to flow through you and out into the world. The more you share, the more will be given you. However, we give you a caveat, beloveds. Live with pure intent and monitor your thoughts, for your thought patterns will quickly come into manifestation. Now as never before, it is time to stay centered in the heart and focus on that which is the highest order and for the greatest good. Rise above the swirling effluvia and stay centered in the diamond eye of God light, thereby creating a haven of peace and harmony. Come join us often in this temple of universal love. We await you there. I am Archangel Michael. So be it.